A few days ago, I did a video on making a USB rubber ducky for just $3, but um, I may have found something better. This thing is a DigiSpark, available for just $1. This isn't a setup tutorial, it's a review. The tutorial will be coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. You'll probably need to watch it if you get one of these things. So, how does a DigiSpark stack up against an actual $45 rubber ducky and the $3 Arduino Pro Micro? Well, let's find out. The DigiSpark is really low profile. It's tiny and easily concealable. Much better when compared to the Arduino Pro Micro. However, not as incognito as a real rubber ducky, for obvious reasons. So is it easy to set up and program? Well, in comparison to the other two options, it is by far the most tricky. There's a few drivers to install, but it's not too bad. You'll need to install a custom board manager into your Arduino IDE, as it doesn't use a typical Arduino microprocessor. Additionally, there's no working ducky script converter for it, so you have to get your hands dirty programming, or at least mildly greasy, as it's not really that hard. It's mostly copy and paste though once you've got the basics down, though I will be explaining all of that and everything else in my setup tutorial coming soon, so subscribe so you don't miss it. Bear in mind, these things are cheaply made. I ordered a handful of them, and one of them just doesn't work, though I'm not too annoyed given the price. Additionally, if a USB port is loose, then the pads on the DigiSpark may not make contact with those inside the USB port, because of which the DigiSpark just won't work on my computer's front USB ports, unless I use an extension cable. One of the main problems with the DigiSpark is memory space. It only has six kilobytes of memory available for scripts, so it will quickly fill up. You can forget about uploading long scripts this thing. Though, unless you're typing out a whole VB or C program in Base64, you really shouldn't have a problem. But is it worth it? Yes, I'd say. You can buy 45 of these things for just one genuine rubber ducky. If that doesn't speak volumes, I don't know what does. There's literally no reason not to buy one or, or a few of these things, given the price and potential. Even if you're not interested in USB drive buys, just for a dollar, why not give it a go? Overall, the DigiSpark is really good value for money, but it's a bit of a chore to set up. So in a few days, I'm going to make a video on how you can set it up and how to program it and such. So make sure you subscribe for that. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions, just leave them down in the comments as always. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.